welcome. Uh, uh, wow, I didn't know where I was going. Welcome to your April 2020. This is going to be the you versus them reading for the beautiful sign of Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please, please, please. That's always important. If it doesn't resonate with you as your sun sign, please go and watch and see what those energies are doing in your moon, your rising, and your Venus because those are very, very important, okay? This is going to be the you versus them reading if you've been paying attention. This was the reading that I told you I was going to give you guys as a quickie energy check-in from the 1st through the 5th um, because I broke the energy up as to end of the month and then I wanted to usher in some brand new energy for this month, okay? What is going on with that? That looks really strange. Hold on, guys. So, all right. So, thank you so much for showing up. <clears throat> this is going to be you versus them again. So, we're going to be getting the energy between you guys, okay, which I have taken the liberty to do already um, with the Ask Your Guides Oracle deck, which is a really beautiful deck. You know, times like this where I can, I get to, you know, test out these new energies. This is a wonderful deck. I might even start, um, you know, um, incorpor incorporating it into what are they telling you. I really love it. But anyway, um, and we're going to see what Divine Feminine as represented with the Triple Goddess Tarot and with Divine Masculine as represented by the Gilded Tarot is going to be saying about this side, so, uh, this particular situation, um, what this card is represented between the two of you. Okay, there will be no clarification. Three cards on feminine, three cards on masculine. We will be getting one Romance Angel Oracle card to kind of round out the message on both ends. And then when we flip over the deck, that will clarify this uh, main message, come hell to high water. We will figure it out, okay? Um, your um, energy in the pre-shuffle, there was a couple different cards that came out. Um, just like with uh, Cancer, um, Right now, guys, before I get into that, I'm sorry, a couple of announcements. If you um, want to connect with me, the 1111 portal is open. I invite you guys to please go ahead and book. When you go to www.marvelousmadam.com, the um, promotion bar or the announcement bar at the top is clickable. When you click that, it will take you directly to the uh, booking page, okay, where you see everything. Go ahead and do that. That's for my new customers, new clients um, who have watched me, want to give me a chance. Go ahead. Um, it is a 20-minute reading. It will take place on the 11th. It take, takes place on the 11th of every month. But this particular month, April 11th, is a Saturday. So people who already have appointments earlier in the day, don't fret. It does not affect you. We will be reading starting from 6 o'clock p.m., Pacific Standard Time, which is all of my, that's my time zone. Um, and when you book, um, Acuity will automatically do the conversion for you. Um, and we're going to be going through 8.45 Pacific Standard Time. That allows me enough time for the first five people. As it stands today, I am still open. I have four slots. Um, those of you that's just chilling and sleeping in today, by tomorrow morning on a Monday, they will not be available. So if you catch this video and you're thinking like you want to do it, you may be asleep, I understand. But if you want that reading um, and you want to connect with me for the first time um, on, on the 11th of the month, which is a fantastic reading, they're done that night, it's beautiful, um, then go ahead and book. Okay, I'm done. Just like with cancer, I'm going to go right back to that statement. Um, there was a card, I think it was cancer, or no, it was Leo, something like that. There was a card that popped out at the same time, so I did a shuffle, and I think it was cancer, and then I put everything back, meditated again, and reshuffled, and then that card popped out, but this one was very, very close to spare, okay? So we, that, one, that one wasn't the one that popped out in the second shuffle. It was New Beginnings, um, Divine Father, okay? New Beginnings between you two, this card says the following. Um, by the way, this is 1111. Um, if that 11 means something to you, life path 11, 11 by itself, or one plus one is two for a life path two, however that 11 resonates with you, um, this is also your message regardless. This is new beginnings. 
slash the divine father, courage, desire, creativity, and initiation, okay? This new beginning uh, feels sort of like chariot energy um, a little bit. Um, it also feels like you have to tap into your will. Um, obviously, that's still kind of chariot. It's feeling to me like sort of also like the fool. You know what I'm saying? So um, it, although they're not talking about a leap of faith, but that's what it feels like. The spark of your life from the Divine Father is igniting your imagination, stirring your create your creative genius, and instilling you into a strong desire to bring about change. Change, Virgo. Um, now is the perfect time for you to act upon your impulses and initiate beginnings, especially those areas in your life that leave you presently dissatisfied. Trust your desire for change and ask the Divine Father to give you the courage to initiate it. Pause. So let's find out what is being desired here between you guys, okay? Let's find that out. Give me a second because I have no idea. Oh. Sorry, guys. This is crazy. Um, thank you for being patient. Sometimes when my... I have my, my other phone in front of me, and all oh, it's going off constantly. So I apologize for that. That was one of my clients. Divine feminine energy. Let's talk about that in masculine. Divine feminine energy, um, we default to as females, right? Divine masculine energy, we default as males. But sometimes as a female, you may have more masculine energy, like I do. <laughs> and sometimes as a male, you may have more feminine. Doesn't mean anything about anyone's womanhood or manhood. If you are same-sex couples, the same rules apply. But to help you out, if I read some energy, oh, no, check it out. I feel like I should take that. The Four of Wands popped out for the feminine energy. Maybe I won't. We'll put it back. Um, so what I've done to make it easier for you, especially Virgo, because uh, I know you like the information, um, in the description box below are those um, feminine energies of the zodiac and the masculine energies of the zodiac. So if you are a sun sign and this doesn't, you feel like you, you know, you're a female and you resonate more with the masculine side, then go take a look below. Maybe you have more masculine uh, planets, those zodiac signs, if you know your entire chart. But I did put it down there as a reference. Let's find out. Thank you for allowing me to do that. Let's find out what the divine math, I'm sorry, feminine has to say, Jesus, about these new beginnings. Ooh, yeah, absolutely. There is a new beginning. This is coming up as the chariot. Um, I know it seems weird, but that's what's coming up. Um, that's the card of seven. And then there is a brand new passionate beginning. So... You seem to be down with that. That's the Ace of Wands. Fantastic. Um, and you have the help right now from the Divine Father um, that is spirit-wise, feminines, or that is um, that could just be the energy inside of you. But you're, you, you're looking like you're wanting this, which is beautiful. All right. Looky, looky. You got the fool. So you are on the pulse of this. Um, divine feminines and you definitely want to tap into your new beginning which is beautiful um, unfortunately the top of the deck shows the ten of wands that could be the trepidation um, you've had to unburden yourself um, to get here the beautiful thing is is when you are operating um, and you are operating in the energy of a ten you have to unburden 
and you automatically advance to the ace. Interestingly enough, your top of the deck energy in this particular reading um, is showing the Ten of Wands. So you still have that energy in you right now where you have your ace in your present energy, but you also still are is carrying the energy of those burdens too. Um, so you can't do both. That could be what's going on. Let's find out what the masculines have to say about this new beginning. Um, now, in that pre-shuffle, that card that popped out was definitely a marriage card. So you're willing to do whatever this is. You, you, you know, you have chariot energy there. That's cancer. You have fire here, Virgo. You do have the energy of the fool. So I like that. Again, if you're wanting to know what those cards are or those energies, they're in the description box to see which side you fall on if, if you're not rocking with it so far. Oh, here we go. Lies, cheats, and deceits. Masculine is coming up with the five of swords. Here we go. Show me, spirit. Oh, here we go. And the star. So, yes, there's been some things that has went on, but they're still coming in with the very hopeful energy. Um, hope, healing, and optimism, which is not bad. And then judgment. So, you guys definitely are at the pulse right now. Um, it's looking like you may be on the same page. Um, and I'm going to tell you, I don't read reversals normally. I'm going to just tell you right now that when I look down, this Eight of Swords was not upright. The Eight of Swords was actually in reverse. So I'm going to read it that way. So upright, we're talking about a fear den. Upright, we're talking about that energy that I tell you guys where you create this fear in your head that really doesn't exist. Um, it looks like on the masculine end, they, ha they have had a problem with this. Um, I'm letting you know that it's been hard for you, Divine um, Feminines, because you are obviously bearing the brunt of this burden to have to start brand new with something. Let's go back here for a second. So, commit to your i commit to your unique ideas and start writing that book you've been thinking about. Open that business you've been. There's something here, guys. Um, break the ice in a new relationship with someone you held back from. The divine father is encouraging you to act in confidence. All the elements um, are, are for your success are in place in this relationship. Okay, don't hesitate. Don't think and don't play it safe. Take a leap of faith, which you have in your energy. You are ready. That's what I feel like this is. Take a leap of faith here, okay? And fully commit to what you want. Your divine father's message here is saying, go for it because you won't fail. There's been some fear or, or trepidation on this side. Um, I will say that you probably, feminists, have been trying to convince them to let's do something for a long time. Maybe it was moving. Maybe it was getting married. I don't know. We're going to... We're going to pull the romance out of it right now um, and find out. But they feel like there's something in it that's going to fail. Um, they're coming in with an energy. Um, until I get these, I don't really necessarily feel like it's something that they, they're doing. Um, as far as the lies, cheats, and deceits, maybe they feel like some information that you're get, you're, you got, Virgo, is deceitful. And they don't want to take a chance and mess up whatever you guys have already built to go into something else. They don't, there's something about it that they didn't buy. But now they're coming around and they are coming out of the fear den. So they have those thoughts, but they're not, they're no longer letting them um, hold them back with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Um, and they're hopeful, although you guys have argued about this, you went back and forth. They're hopeful, they love you, so they're gonna stay by your side. Um, and they're being guided to just kind of take a step back right now um, and let this play out, okay? Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is a wild card. So separation? Are you trying to leave this person, Virgo? Oh, Lord. Well, now that explains it. <laughs> Wow, I think I'm going to have to take another card. 
separation that's for feminines go ahead and give me the masculine energy wow that came out of left field was that two hold on i gotta get out the frame a little bit oh my goodness yes Okay, well, you know, take everything that I've said. They're coming in with free yourself and worth waiting for. So you're trying to leave. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Listen, and then what's differences? I did not see that coming. Okay, so according to this, I feel like I need to clarify. I'm I, I'm sorry. I need to clarify the separation. So I'm going to introduce another deck. Don't tell anybody. This is looking like you have done the work, Divine Feminines. You have trusted going spiritual and done the work to release yourself of this situation. That explains the resistance that you're getting. But the feminine, uh, the I'm sorry, the masculine energy is, is coming through as feeling cheated. Well, that's normally how they feel. Um, I don't see any evidence of this. So right now, to make it fair, because this is driving me nuts, I am going to clarify separation on the mat on the feminine end and five of swords on the masculine end. Oh my goodness. And I am clarifying that with the um, everyday to roll. Oh my goodness. So yes, that's what's going on. That will explain the reason why it's been a huge burden for you. Well, shoot. Of course, that explains the reason why you're excited about it, but you have some trepidation. That explains that. Clarify separation, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus on the Divine Feminine side. Separation, time apart from your partner, is on the horizon. That is what this person feels like you built something together, and they don't want this to end. Um, or maybe this new beginning makes them feel like, yeah, you got an offer. I'm, I don't know why I'm feeling like offer to move. I don't know. Separation is being clarified by the page of pentacles. You got an offer. This also can indicate some type of child. I don't see it plainly. I feel like that's a message. You got an offer there, and, and this person doesn't want to move. And I think it came down. Your, ooh, your video is longer. I think it came down, Virgo, to you accepting the offer and doing what's best for you. And unfortunately, if they don't want to come, then you guys have to separate. Or um, you're going to go through with this offer and leave them to go and do it. And if they come, they come. And if they don't, they don't. They're coming in at a, as an energy of worth waiting for and the fact that they need to free themselves. So they are coming in freeing themselves and taking back control because they're coming through as the Eight of Swords in reverse. Oh, Lord, these are some good ones. I may have to incorporate this reading all the time. Clarify for me, please. This five of swords for the masculine end. This is just way too good. The chariot. It has a lot to do with your movement. That makes complete sense. So you have the chariot in your energy. Guess what? And they are feeling cheated by the fact that you're moving or you're leaving. Um, and that, that is all about movement. They resent the fact that you can leave. Um, and you already are registering with the chariot. Um, that's how I'm taking it. They don't want, they feel cheated by you leaving. They don't want you to. Um, and then again, the new beginnings is being clarified by uh, the religious factors right here, your differences. So 
you can up and leave and go into your new beginning. This person does not want that to happen. I hope that makes sense. Um, you guys are definitely fighting over the new beginning. I will figure out what I'm gonna name this. Um, but yeah, they don't they 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 know that if you accept this, that they're gonna lose you. That's how they're feeling. You guys clarify it for me. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much. Oh, that lighting is bad right there. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I will post the remaining six videos later on. Please look out for them. They will all be posted today. Um, tomorrow, um, within the next couple of days, we will get back on our normal schedule. What aren't they telling you for this week? I'm still, I'm overlapping by a day from the 5th, I believe, to the 11th. And uh, we'll see what happens. So I will take all of the views, not just the views from the what aren't they telling you. So if your zodiac sign has views that's kind of low because the energy is low, I'm going to do the tally in from this particular video and the what aren't they telling you to find out my top five, if you were wondering. There you go, Virgo. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.